Let's learn in this video how to run an Azure DevOps pipeline inside a Docker container. When running pipelines, we have a few options. First of all would be to use the Microsoft hosted agents. Those are agents installed inside Azure virtual machines. Second option would be to use the VMSS, Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets, which will allow you to scale out and scale in the number of these build agents. Third option would be to use your own virtual machine or your own host. But we have also another interesting option, which is to run these pipelines inside a Docker container, whether that container is Linux or Windows container. So in this video, we'll see how to create that container, how to run it in our host, and how we can run a pipeline in Inside that container. But next we would have two additional other videos. Uh, second one will be to run this container inside a Kubernetes cluster like AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service. And then on the third video we'll see how we can scale out uh, these pods or these containers to meet the demand of running multiple jobs in parallel. So th this is actually well documented on the Microsoft documentation for Azure DevOps where you will find all the steps required for creating the Docker container and then running your pipeline inside that container. Here I have reproduced that environment or that workshop uh, to make it a little bit more easier for you to understand. So in this GitHub repository, I have all the files and all the scripts required for this uh, demo. So first, what we want to do here is that we want to create or we want to run our pipeline inside the Docker container. So first we need to make Azure DevOps uh, connect to that container or uh, vice versa. Actually that container should be able to connect to Azure DevOps and that could be done by adding an agent pool. So here from my Azure DevOps organization I go to agent pools and then I have here some uh, predefined agent pools that I have created using add a new agent pool, then I choose self, um, self hosted, and then I specify a name. In my case, it's the Linux containers AKS. So this is my pool that I'm going to use for this demo. After that, so my, for my agent to be able to connect to Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps needs to uh, authorize it and to authenticate it. So that could be done using personal access tokens, PAT. So I go here to the personal access tokens, which I can uh, go to through this icon right here, where I can go to uh, personal access tokens, and then I'll be redirected to this page. So here I have already created one, but you can also create your own. If you click new token, you give it a name, uh, you specify the organization, the expiration date that could go up to one year and then you specify the required that could, that should take actually if you click show all scopes that should take actually the agent pools then we choose read and manage so that should have that um, that permission once that's created i have created my patch right here so i'll take the uh, that will give me actually the number or the uh, token itself so i have copied it to my machine to use it later now from here, I have cloned the GitHub repository. So I have a folder DevOps container that contains here uh, the steps for creating the build agent that we run inside the container. So here it's using a Docker file that will use the Ubuntu 18.04. And from here, it will go to perform all the steps needed in order to configure that, um, configure that container to host a build agent for Azure DevOps. So first it will install the required uh, packages so it's using apt get update and then it's installing the CA certificate, secure, juki, um, git and much uh, many more right here that will be required to run my pipelines. And then after that it will at a certain moment will use this start.sh uh, shell file which is the file right here and using this file each time my container starts it will go to install the agent a new uh, version of that agent inside my container and all the steps in this file will uh, do exactly that so they will con connect to the azure devops organization requiring the url then it will get access to the token that will pass through parameters later when we run the pipeline the container and then uh, it will go to download the um, download the uh, the build agent and install it inside the container. So for me here, I have already run this uh, Docker file from this window right here, where I, where I go run Docker build dash t, then I tag it with the name Ubuntu 18.04. So that runs, and then at the end, I would have my Docker container inside my local machine. And after that, I go here to run that Docker 
a container inside my uh, host machine. So from here I run docker run, then I specify some parameters. So these parameters or these environment parameters are the Azure DevOps pipeline uh, URL, where here I put my own URL. Of course, you need to change this one with your own URL. And then the access token that I have uh, got from the personal access token from the Azure DevOps uh, website, okay? And then I put here the name of my uh, Azure DevOps pool. Remember, those are the data that we were seeing from, uh, from right here. So where here I have the name of that uh, uh, Azure DevOps uh, agent pool. And then the name of the image that I want to start. So that will go to run the container and then it will download and install the build agent inside that container. And then it will perform all the operations in order to connect and then register the agent within Azure DevOps. And once that's done and the connection was established, it will actually tell me that here it's now waiting for jobs to be running inside this pipeline. And at this stage right here, if I go back to Azure DevOps, and then I go to the uh, pool that I have created, you will see some of the jobs that I have executed earlier. But if I go to agents, you will see here the agent that is running and that is ready for me to run uh, pipelines. So at this moment right here, I have a build agent that I can use in my pipelines, which is called right here Linux containers AKS. So if I go to create here a new pipeline from within Azure DevOps, where I have also created a new project, I will see here the uh, pipeline, Azure DevOps pipelines.yaml, that will be triggered on the main. And here, all it will do is just to run a script saying hello from inside the Docker container that is uh, and then it will display actually the name of that uh, uh, container. And then I go to printenv to show all the environment variables from within that container. Um, and then if I want this pipeline to run inside that container, I need to not use this VM image, which is inserted by default on all the Azure DevOps pipelines, but instead I will choose the name of the pool, the new pool that I have created, which is Linux containers, um, AKS, the name right here. So let's go now to try to run this pipeline, which I have already uh, done before. So I click run. And then here I will be redirected to the build pipeline. If I click it. Yeah, so here the pipeline started uh, running and my Azure DevOps actually it's running inside the Docker container. And if here I show the pipeline, uh, the console from the pipeline, I, I see that here I have a new pipeline that started running, which is called build up. So it's running that job build up. And once that's uh, succeeded and run it successfully, it will show me, yes, that was um, run it and uh, completed. Great. So running this pipeline means that it will actually display the name of the uh, of the container uh, at the first line, which is hello from inside Docker container, and then the name of that container or the ID actually of that uh, container, which is the same value that I'll get from here. If I run Docker PS to show the ID of that container, then yeah, here it is. It's that same ID. And then all we have uh, after are the environment variables coming from that inside that container. Great. So what is to uh, to get from this demo is that it's easier to it's easy actually to run con containers or to run pipelines inside Docker containers. But uh, this uh, with this configuration we have the minimum uh, basic configuration. Actually, if you want to run uh, other tools inside your container, then it's up to you to uh, run it or to install these tools inside your container. Great, I hope you liked this video. Uh, follow me in the next two videos to show you how you can run these containers from inside a Kubernetes cluster. And then in another video, how you can scale out these containers to meet the demand of your uh, multiple uh, pipelines that you want to run in parallel.